Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again, it is with great joy that I am here, to bring you some more teachings. On this day, many are experiencing or perceiving sensations that they cannot identify very well. It is a consensus among most of you, the certainty that something is about to arrive, something is about to happen. Why do you feel this? It is a property of your souls to walk the timeline. In fact, perceive very clearly what is about to happen. So the vast majority of you have this feeling. I just want to emphasize that this timeline does not run as fast as you imagine. You have a slightly different perspective of time than the timelines we refer to. Then you realize something is close. But how close is it? You can't measure it. When we say that things are about to happen soon, our brief never corresponds to the brief you know. Because we only see the here and now. And the brief for us is practically the here and now. Because within that timeline, it is very close to us, but not within the timeline that you know, within the time of this planet. I have mentioned expectations here several times. Yes, you may have this feeling something is about to happen, but don't focus on it. Because when you focus on this subject, you create expectations and the days go by, the months, the years and nothing happens. So what does it look like to you? That we are not telling the truth, that we are just, as I would say in your language, beating around the bush, not to tell you the truth. So I ask a question, for what expectations? Live in the here and now. This is what has to be the big moment that you have to be concerned about, it's here, it's now. Every time you become aware of time, ask yourself, what am I vibrating right now? If it were now, would I be okay, would I go to the fifth dimension? Ah, but here comes another question, what do I need to have, how do I need to be, what do I need to vibrate, how much energy do I need to have to go to the fifth dimension? So I would say to you, the answer does not exist, an exact answer does not exist. It all depends on the whole. I'll give you an example, a teacher gives a test, all students get excellent grades. What conclusion can we draw? Is there a definitive conclusion? No, because either the teacher may have given a very easy test and everyone was able to answer or he is an excellent teacher, and despite applying a very difficult test, everyone managed to answer. But I assure you that this is very difficult to happen. It is very likely that the teacher gave a very easy test. So let's go to the opposite situation, he gives an extremely difficult test, in which even those highly applied students, who study all the time, who pay attention in class, cannot take the test, everyone gets very low grades. What is the conclusion? Did no one study or did the teacher exaggerate the difficulty of the test? So when I tell you that everything depends on the whole, it is exactly in this sense. You can reach a quantum of energy, which is the quantum of the whole and be enough for ascension. Understand this. Nothing is isolated, you are not isolated each in your own place. If the conditions of your planet, of the environment in which you live, make you all vibrate in a certain range, which is not the wonderful range for the fifth dimension, but everyone only managed to get there. So no one will go just because the lane isn't exactly where it should be? Of course not, we will have to take that into consideration. And everyone who vibrates in that range, even a little lower, will ascend. So, there is no answer to how much energy you have to vibrate. Yes, there is, you vibrate high. If the environment is making you vibrate low, try to move away from the environment, Try to always keep vibrating high, thinking positive things, thinking wonderful things. Then I can guarantee you, that at this moment, you will be vibrating high. So there is nothing defined, there are no defined values, there is you in the whole. So, what expectations? 
so that they say, I think it's going to happen soon. And the days go by, and the months go by, and nothing happens. What happens to you? Let's be real, you are disappointed. Do you begin to think that your perceptions are all wrong, or are you allowing yourself to be led, by the words of some, to make yourselves participate in the whole? If someone who has some importance, has an enlightened path, says that they think it will happen, everyone starts to think the same thing. It's not like this. Everyone has their own perception. And I recommend it again, our brief, ours in a little while, is not the same as yours. We don't work with the future, we only work with the here and now. Of course, we can get the timelines right, of course. But we don't worry about them, because we also live in the here and now, always. So I would say to you, stop self-suggesting what will happen. Yes, it will, I'm not denying that, but not in the time you expect. We understand that you want everything yesterday, that you want everything now, today, to get rid of everything you live. We understand, but we continue to warn you, everything depends on the whole. Understand this, the lessons are still being applied, you have not learned everything yet. You still have a lot to clean up and understand. The cleaner you are, the more aware you are of everything, the easier the passage to the fifth dimension will be. So why the rush, why the despair, why the anxiety, why the expectation? The vast majority here are still cleaning themselves up, they are discovering things they didn't know they had to clean up. So how do you want tomorrow to happen? We know exactly what we are doing, we know exactly what we are guiding you to do, so that the passage is as easy as possible. While the whole is not ready, you are preparing. So stop with expectations. They do not bring good advice, they only bring disappointment, discouragement, disbelief in everything that is happening. When we tell you, just trust, that's all we ask for. So, what is your stance? Trust that everything will happen at the right time and at a time that is good for everyone, not just for you. Are you letting your egos come out, because when you think that you are ready and that anything can happen, and the rest of the inhabitants of the planet, are you ready for anything to happen? No, they are not. Their journey will still be very difficult and painful, and you will still see this happen. So how do you think only about yourselves? I'm ready so what? And what about the other billions of inhabitants on the planet? So don't let your egos come to the fore, think about the whole. Don't just think about yourself. Until the whole is ready, nothing will happen. No, I'm not saying here that everyone will have to wake up, it is the opposite, everything will happen so that everyone wakes up. But we need to act at the right time, so that this group that is yet to awaken, really awakens, and do not make this planet a world of chaos, savagery and suffering. Think about it. Don't just think about what you want. We have already asked you to emanate light to the entire planet. What is this for? Yes, help Gaia to be ready, but it is not just for that, it is to raise the frequency of the brothers that you have on the planet and who are still sleeping today. Because in the vibrational range they are in today, nothing good will happen, chaos will be installed on the planet. So emanate a lot of light, for all the brothers on the planet. When you emanate light to Gaia, Gaia receives that light and returns it to you on the surface. So keep emanating light, and then yes, the day will come when everyone will be able to bear all the truths, without savagery, without chaos, without despair. So stop the expectations, stop the anxiety. Everything will happen at the right time. No, you are not mistaken, something big is really approaching. I agree, and it will be really big. But don't expect it at the speed you are imagining. There is still a lot to happen. Do you want to speed up the process? Emanate a lot of light. Emanate light all the time. Each one in their own way. 
you don't need to follow what the other does. Each one in their own way emanates light for the planet. See the light manifesting on the surface of the planet and you will be helping your brothers to rise, to have a higher vibration to absorb, in a calmer way, all the truths that will come. So I ask you to stop, because when you emanate this expectation, this is also thrown out into the universe. And then it's as if you cause things to happen, and we have to balance this energy so that things don't happen. Because it's not the time yet. So if you really want things to happen yesterday, just emanate light. Don't have expectations, don't talk, don't comment, because every time you talk, you throw it out to the universe, and then we have a job of balancing this energy, because of course you provoke a movement. If you want to provoke movement, emanate light, it is this movement that you have to emanate, don't vibrate expectations, don't keep saying that you feel something is going to happen. Keep that to yourself, don't comment on it anymore. Live in the here and now. On the right day it will happen. Perfect, perfect, you are saying to the universe, we accept whatever day it is. And in the meantime, you are emanating light onto the planet and its surface. That's what you have to do. Don't keep playing to the universe, which will happen now, in a week, in a few days. Emanate only light, take care of your walks, cleanse your souls. This is what you have to worry about right now, do not emanate expectations, do not emanate anxiety. Understand, you can dream of a better world, yes you can but as long as you help this world come closer. It's not just playing to the universe, which you want to happen, without helping the process as a whole. So learn, close your mouths. Don't say any more that you feel something is going to happen. It will happen the day it has to happen. Stop emanating this into the universe. If you feel it, keep it to yourself, don't comment, not even out loud. The thought is enough. So I ask each one of you, don't repeat this again. If you're feeling it, great, stay for you. Do not emanate this to the universe anymore. Yes, emanate a lot of light. Be sure that by emanating light, you are causing the event. Then I applaud you, because you will be raising the vibration of the planet and your brothers as a whole. And then yes, things could happen. So listen very carefully to what I said here. It is not you vibrating that you want to happen, that you are helping the process. You can even vibrate this to yourself, but together, emanating light for the planet and for its brothers, who are on its surface. That's what you have to do, that's how you speed up the process. It's not saying expectations, it's not saying what you think, it's not saying what you expect.